All Fulton County Schools employees have a responsibility to report fraud, waste, and abuse. But do you really know what constitutes fraud, waste, and abuse? And do you know how and where you can report these activities? Hello, I'm Jim Yerich, Director of the Department of Internal Audits for Fulton County Schools. We've put this information together to help you better understand what fraud, waste, and abuse is, as well as what fraud, waste, and abuse is not. We are also going to show you how to report suspected fraud, waste, and abuse, and make sure you understand what processes are in place to ensure your confidentiality if you report a concern. What is fraud? Fraud is an intentional, illegal act involving the willful taking of something of value. The most common example is theft. For instance, taking office supplies from the workplace for personal use. Examples could include selling goods for a school fundraiser, then pocketing the proceeds, or using a school district-issued purchasing card for personal expense. Use common sense. If an activity or action feels wrong, it probably is. Another definition of fraud is a false representation of a material fact, whether by words or by conduct, by false or misleading allegations, or by concealment of that which should have been disclosed and deceives another person so that he acts or fails to act to his detriment. That's a complicated definition, so let's take a closer look. An example of this would be if the school district contracted with someone to provide training to school employees. But the trainer is clearly not qualified to teach the class. In fact, it becomes apparent that the employees know more than the trainer about the subject matter. In this situation, the trainer had misrepresented their credentials and knew nothing about the subject being taught. Okay, so you're all ready to take this back and implement it right away. Thank you. Waste involves taxpayers not receiving reasonable value for money in connection with any government-funded activities due to an inappropriate act or omission by players with control over or access to government resources. In plain English, waste usually is related to mismanagement, inappropriate actions, and inadequate oversight. It is usually not a violation of law. Examples of waste include purchasing mass quantities of supplies merely to spend budgeted funds and not because the items are really needed. Another example could be when a school has a regular pattern of ordering too much food and then throwing away a lot of food at the end of the day. In both of these examples, resources are wasted. Let's talk about what is not waste. For example, waste is not when a school cafeteria runs out of chicken for the morning chicken biscuits. This is a tragedy, yes, but does not qualify as waste. Abuse is the misuse of authority or position for personal financial interests or those of an immediate or close family member or business associate. One definition of abuse is the misuse of authority or position for personal financial interests or the financial interests of a family member or business associate. An example would be if a hiring manager were to screen out more qualified candidates to enhance the chances of a family member being hired. Another example could be driving a school bus back home without prior approval and then using it to drive friends around town during the weekend. And how about athletic coaches who use the home economics kitchen in the school to cook dinner for the players? Yes, you guessed right, that's also abuse. Like I've said before, if an activity or action feels wrong, then it is probably best not to do it. However, if you still have questions, then seek guidance about whether it constitutes fraud, waste, or abuse. Please note that this abuse does not refer to child abuse. 
That is a separate and serious matter that also must be reported through the proper channels. If you need to report child abuse, this should be done by calling the Department of Family and Children's Services within 24 hours at 1-855-GA-CHILD or 1-855-422-4453. So, you may be asking yourself, why should I care about this and why should I report any fraud, waste, or abuse suspicions? There are two good answers to this question. First, it is a board policy, board policy AED to be exact. This policy establishes a way that you can report fraud, waste, and abuse, and also provides protection to employees who make good faith reports. And besides board policy, it is important to report your suspicions because fraud, waste, and abuse takes funding away from instruction. That impacts our teachers, and more importantly, our students. That would be the saddest thing of all. We've talked about what fraud, waste, and abuse is and what it isn't. And we've taken a look at what your responsibilities are for reporting fraud, waste, and abuse. Now let's take a look at how to report suspected fraud, waste, and abuse. There should be a poster in the common areas of all Fulton County Board of Education buildings with fraud, waste, and abuse reporting information. The reporting process is open to the public. Anyone with a fraud, waste, or abuse concern, whether it be a parent, a student, an employee, or a volunteer, can access the link. Once they access the link, they will find the fraud, waste, and abuse reporting form. Complete the form in as much detail as possible and submit it to the Department of Internal Audit. Feel free to call the number on the form to ask any questions regarding your fraud, waste, and abuse concern. Once an instance of suspected fraud, waste, and abuse is reported, the report is reviewed by the Department of Internal Audit, then forwarded to the appropriate department for further investigation. All reports of suspected fraud, waste, and abuse are also reviewed by a three board member audit committee. And there is no follow up with you unless additional information is needed. So just submit your report. There's no need for you to play detective once you have expressed your concern. Another important note. There is no chain of command requirement for fraud, waste, and abuse reporting. You may take your issue directly to the Department of Internal Audit. You do not have to include your supervisor. In fact, if it involves your supervisor, you shouldn't include them. You can report suspected fraud, waste, or abuse anonymously. However, you are encouraged to include your contact information in case there are follow-up questions. The Department of Internal Audit respects your confidentiality. Your contact information will not be disclosed unless required to do so by professional or legal standards. But remember, the fraud, waste, and abuse reporting process is not meant for you to report general complaints about your coworkers, your principal, or your supervisor. However, if you're unsure if something falls under fraud, waste, and abuse, report it anyway. Internal audit will either investigate your concern or refer it to the appropriate person or department. Thank you for viewing this video. Remember, fraud, waste, and abuse is something that should concern every Fulton County Schools employee because it takes valuable resources from our schools, staff, and most importantly, our students. With a few closing remarks, here are board member Gail Dean and Chief Talent Officer Ron Wade. Hello, I'm Gail Dean, a member of the Fulton County Board of Education. In my capacity as board member, I serve as the chair of the audit committee. And I'm Ron Wade, Chief Talent Officer for the school district. We thank you for your attention during this presentation and we hope that you have found this training to be informative. Although some of these video clips have been lighthearted, the topic of fraud, waste, and abuse is serious. We owe it to the children, teachers, and taxpayers we serve to use school district funds and resources wisely. Remember, 
If you have questions or concerns regarding this information, just ask. Human Resources stands by the fraud, waste, and abuse policy, and we will support and protect employees who report suspected cases. We look forward to being your partner in eliminating fraud, waste, and abuse at Fulton County Schools. Thank you.